excuse talk about sex. Someone's got to do it. And I'd rather it be me than some other dude who's never been through the experience. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have experience with these things. I refuse to. I refuse to act and behave like I'm some innocent guy. And No, man. Allah allowed me to go through whatever I've been through so I could come and tell you how not to do it. That's why Allah allowed me to go through this. That's how I know Allah has put me through these tests. So if you want to learn more about this and learn how to avoid these pitfalls and holes that I fall into, I'll share them with you. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Look, I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. It's going to make you super uncomfortable. So get ready with this conversation, okay? Whether you like it or not. Whether you like to admit it or not, whether like you like to think about it or not, whether you like to even ponder this thought, here's the truth. Muslims, Muslim youth, are losing their virginities. They're being pressured to lose their virginities. They're having sex out of marriage. I know when you hear the word virginity and you hear the word sex, it makes you cringe and like, oh, brother, brother, come on, brother, please. Have some haya, brother. Brother, have some haya. Say things with more modesty, but you think they're friends when they're encouraging them to go out and smash a chick? They're telling them about modesty. You think when this girl's girlfriends are telling her that she's prettier without the hijab, so they encourage her to take the hijab off when she leaves the house? You think that they're talking to them in a modest fashion? If you want to see someone go talk about it in a way where <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters uh, May Allah bless you all And there's a freaking books behind me Turn this off Because that's not me And stop trying to change me and who I am SQ, you always walk around and you talk SQ, you move your hands when you talk SQ, calm down Brother, lower your voice Brother, slow down You're trying to change people This is who I am This is me it hurts for you to hear this. It hurts for you to acknowledge and believe the fact that Muslims are becoming promiscuous. Muslims are becoming sexually active before marriage and they're trying different things. Hell, I'm going to tell you another thing. There's some Muslims who identify themselves to be gay. God. Like this is the reality. What do you want to do? Do you all want to just close your eyes and act like this doesn't exist? It's not happening? Is that what you want me to do? Is that what you want the whole world to do? Act like it's not happening? Let's just act and play this game that everything is fine and that this is some conspiracy from the Western worlds. No. Do you think the issue when a person goes out and commits some haram, they commit zina, they're having sex before marriage, they're losing their virginities. You think that the issue is that they don't know it's haram? You think that somehow they need to know the fiqh of it? Huh? Oh, I need. I, 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 let me let, let me send them to Yakin Institute to study really quick, so they could learn that you know having oral sex with a dude is haram. Let me let me before marriage, you know, without marriage. Let me send them to freaking Al Bayina. Let me send them to freaking Medina so that they could realize that hey, having oral with a guy before marriage is haram. Let me let me do that. Right? That make. You think that the issue? Of why they're doing it is because they don't, they're ignorant. They're like, duh, I don't know. It's haram. I don't know what's haram. You think that's the issue? Do you think that's the issue why they're committing haram acts? It's because they don't care it's haram. I'm pausing so you can get that through your head. It's not that they don't know it's haram. It's that they don't give a damn that's haram. Try to understand the difference. The goal for any dai out there, any dai, however you want to do it, any dai, is to make people care about the haram. It's make them care. Make them care about Allah. Make them care. And I'm going to say it how I say it. People want to go on the latest YouTube video, SQ has no haya. SQ has no modesty. People would come to the Messenger Sallallahu and straight up tell the Messenger Sallallahu I want to commit zina. You wouldn't even say that to your parents. You wouldn't even say the inner deepest thoughts to your parents about what you're saying. They're coming to the messenger of God and telling him, hey, messenger of God, I want to commit zina. I want to commit zina. I want to, I want to go and commit zina. What should I do? And what did the messenger say? Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. 
have some modesty, brother. What's wrong with you? You're speaking to the messenger. No, no. He understood what was his deeper reason. He understood the disease that's in a person's heart when they ask you questions like this, right? So go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you want to say. But I'm not, I'm not going to stop being who I am. I'm not going to stop telling you straight to your face about what's happening, what's not happening, whether you like to think about it or not. Muslims are having premarital sex. That's just, that's just the nature of the game, guys. Muslims, whether you like to think about it, agree with it, believe it or not, Muslims are having premarital sex. You know, they're being influenced. That's just the reality of it. And you could close your eyes and act like it's not happening, right? You can close your eyes and act like it's not going down, literally going down. Someone's like, SQ, would you ever tell your daughter? Would you ever speak to your daughter like this? Yeah, when she's at an age. I have the Muslim player's book. I have the playbook. How the hell do I look keeping it to myself? I have the playbook. I know how it works. How I look dying with that information. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be uncomfortable. Hearing words like sex, gay, intercourse, oral. These are uncomfortable words. Virginity. These are uncomfortable words. But you better get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's the reality of the world that we live in. All right? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the link is in my bio for the full YouTube video so that you can understand what I'm going on about. And I'm sorry for this rant. There's no cool, uh, the th you know, uh, thumbnail titles over here. There's no subtitles over here because I'm over that. I'm over that. I'm not going to try to, you know, that's the problem. You guys, all these, oh, but you should be more like them. But you should be more like them. They're only like that in front of the camera. They're only like this in front of the camera. I've been around people. When the cameras are off, they're a different person. Let me tell you something right now. Whether the camera's on or off, I'm me. And I am going to be like this. Anyone who's ever met me says, yo, you're exactly the same. Because that's just who I am. I don't live no fake double lives over here, brah. So please, before you start, you know, uh, you know, getting uncomfortable with this idea that, you know, excuse talk about sex. Someone's got to do it. And I'd rather it be me than some other dude who's never been through the experience. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have experience with these things. I refuse to. I refuse to act and behave like I'm some innocent guy. And No, man. Allah allowed me to go through whatever I've been through so I could come and tell you how not to do it. That's why Allah allowed me to go through this. That's how I know Allah has put me through these tests. So if you want to learn more about this and learn how to avoid these pitfalls and holes that I fall into, I'll share them with you. But if you don't want to hear it and you want to listen to some dude with a longer beard than mine and a nice little thobe and, you know, assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. And you want to have a books in the back? Go watch them. Go watch them. Unfollow me, please. But I'm not going to live my life according to how you want me to speak and who you want me to be because that goes against the essence of who I am and what message I'm trying to portray over here. You feel me? So may Allah bless you all. Go watch the video if you're confused. I just had to release this rant. I love you all for the sake of Allah.